right, that was a great session with uh, how to build ad copy. I, I think that uh, after you've kind of gotten through a couple of sessions now, you, you're getting your head around what needs to be done to be starting in this and um, the process of building ads. But now we're sort of at, okay, great, we have a great ad. We've got the relevant keywords. Okay, where does it go? So now we've got to go on to a landing page, right? Now, oh, there, there's a piece of thought here. Do I hit my main website? Do I hit the product? If it's an e-commerce site, am I going directly to the product site? So I'm like, let's, let's talk about this and, and what's the best or a strategy, because we, there's a lot of strategies here, on building landing pages, because that's sort of th something that we do day in and day out for a lot of our clients to improve conversions. Well, we have to look at it through Google's eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, Google wants something that's relevant and direct, meaning that if I'm looking for an envelope, I want to click on an ad that says envelopes, and I want to be taken to a page that shows me an envelope. That's really it. So getting back to what we said, if my site is uh, about office supplies, and I, I type in 6 by 9 envelope, and I get to the main page, and the, the main page is just like ABC office supplies, well, I don't, where's my envelope? Now I have to do another search. Uh, through that and find my envelope. So that's wasting my time. I, I don't want that. Just get me to the point. So that, that, that's the main thing. I want, I want conversion. But, but every, every business is different. So we're going to have some, some modules in, inside our training that talk about that. If I'm doing e-commerce, I'm looking for a specific product, then I want to see the product. If, for example, um, I'm looking for a service industry and, and we talk about attorneys, but and talk about a contract or any other service business, what happens is when I land on a service industry business or service in, uh, a business that's in a service industry, I'm going to care about three things, and only three things. I care about can I trust this guy, can I afford him, and is he going to solve my problems? So we have to think about from the client's perspective. If you can answer those things, can I trust you, can I afford you, and can you going to solve my problems? And we design a page that's relevant to that, then we're in a much better position. So. So while e-commerce has a certain way that we handle it in terms of I want relevance and I want to get to the product and that's it, that's all I want. Service industry, I want those three things taken care of. I need this certain layer of trust. So aside from having a bunch of text on a page saying, okay, we do divorce or we do, we, you know, we fix engines, I want to see it from a human point of view saying, okay, this is who I am or who we are in our business, we're ABC uh, Auto Repair. And we might have a video showing how we take care of you and you might actually see the technician that does the work and you might see a little bit about us. So that allays your fear about who we are and can we handle your situation and can you, can you we be trusted. So that kind of helps. But as we go through the modules, you'll see how we distinct between uh, certain industries. And so I, I wish I could tell you that there's a real answer and there's a, it's either A or B, but it's not black or white, not it's not it's shades of gray every business is a little different and you really need to do one thing and that's test right so I think if I was to put this in a nutshell part of a, an, an ad strategy does have to do with des website design and in, or, or landing page design because there's two coordinates here there's, you, you can you can direct traffic all day long to your existing web site um, main, your main index page or your main landing page for your website, your www. whatever abccompany.com. But after looking at several different campaigns and, and going through iterations of different strategies for different clients, we found that specific criteria landing pages for these companies can enhance the platform for, for what you're trying to do with your Ad, AdWords platform because Google's seeing it, as you had mentioned before, as total relevancy, meaning that, yeah, we know you're a landscaper or a, you know, specific, but in this particular search query, it is for um, fertilizing your, you know, spring fertilizing, whatever it may be, and that lands on a spring fertilization page. Let's just, I'm making up a topic here, but that would get better results because, one, as a human being, that's what you're looking for, right? So, duh. And then, two, Google's saying, okay, well, the content on that page where you're landing is relevant. So it's going to raise up the quality of that ad and therefore raise it up in the in the rankings of where it gets placed. And I think, you know, design, website design sometimes comes into play here. So as we go through the next module and we see uh, how landing pages have effect on ads, you're going to get an understanding of, well, maybe we should be pointing this to a page that 
um, I have someone create or I create on my own if you have those skill sets. But the reality is is that there are other sites where you can point it directly like an e-commerce site right into a product, um, which then again gets relevancy for Google and relevancy for the end user. Right. So it's going to determine based on your product or service you offer. Inside the section, we're actually going to have a little piece on um, on quality score, which is, is, is a little side point to this. What happens right. is if you do what Google asks and that you put a relevant ad that leads to a relevant page um, and you get to the point right away, they tend to give you a higher quality score for your ad, which gives you a lower cost per click. So it means that if your competition isn't doing it right, you are doing it right, they can pay a lot less, I mean, you can pay a lot less than they are for um, the same the same keyword. So whoever's doing it right, according to Google's rules, gets a better rate, and that's as simple as that. I'm gonna give you a quality score, 10. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> Yeah, so Mike, landing page strategy here is, uh, you know, I think from, if, if I was to say the number one thing that I talk to clients about, which is they might have a, an ad campaign and we can run ads and anybody can run ads, but, but when they get to a website, do they convert? And that's the landing page. So let's talk about that. <laughs> sure. Uh, that's, that's a great kind of thing. Um, you know what? If let's just say I'm watching TV and and I see um, the um, and I see the TV guide or the online TV guide and I'm looking for sports, so I, I click on I, I click on channel four or seven or whatever, and then when I get to it, I don't see sports. I see the news. Well, how pissed off am I going to be that the news is on and not sports? It's the same thing with with advertising. If I'm typing in on a search and I'm looking for a specific kind of jewelry, in this case I, I pick Pandora because out of the top of my head. So um, I'm looking for Pandora jewelry. And um, if I'm, I click on that, one of these websites, I would assume that I'm going to see one, a Pandora charm. But I have a couple examples to give you to right now to show you a good landing page strategy and a poor one. And we, we have major retailers here. So... I tap in Pandora Jewelry. I'm assuming I'm going to see some samples of it. So here at Nordstrom's, what they do is on their website, it takes me to it takes me to all types of charms that relate to Pandora Jewelry. So it's exactly what I'm looking for. This is an e-commerce site. Uh, this is exactly what I'm looking for. I can modify my search once I'm on the site, but this is exactly exactly it. So it, it's it's perfect. This is this is what I want, and if it wasn't what I wanted, I can modify it slightly. And it says you search for Pandora Jewelry. So what happened is when I clicked on that ad that you saw before, when I clicked on that ad for it, it immediately took that click right over here. It populated my search. If you look up here, Pandora Jewelry. And put it into the site, and it made it search instantly. So I came to the right page. So going back now, if I search on Bloomingdale's, and you, you know you figure this is a, a major retailer as well, let's click on that. So here I have, well, the keywords that they're using are jewelry designer. They don't have Pandora jewelry or they're not at least advertising it, and all they have is a coupon for 20% off. Is it going to work or is it not going to work? Um, I don't know. It probably it's not going to be very effective. It's not what I wanted. It's, it's a little bit like me looking for sports and getting the news. It's, it's, um, maybe I'm still interested in this 20% off, but they don't have my product, so what's the point? So th that kind of hit home a little bit. If I'm looking for something and you're not giving me what I'm looking for, then the ads, the landing page isn't good. Right, so what we find is that, you know, and a lot of, of the clients that we work with, we, they, sp they think that, okay, if, if you put an ad structure together and then just land it on my homepage, people will figure it out and they'll know where to go, which is absolutely not the case because the back button's a lot quicker than trying to navigate your site. Here, th this is the thing. If I have 100 people coming to my website, and I expect, if you do everything right, if you do everything, everything right, you might expect you know, one or two of those hundred people to convert into a sale. But if you don't do everything right, then you're not going to have that one or two or three or four or five people convert into a sale. You might have a, a tenth of, of 1% of, of a person. So what, what that 
the difference is you're going to either make a profit or not make a profit or stay in business and, or not stay in business because your landing page strategy is no good. So it's, if you have your ad go out to enough people, somebody's eventually going to buy. It's, you know, someone's eventually gonna, so I'm not going to say, your, say it's not going to work because you're not doing the right landing page strategy. All we're saying is that, you know what? This ad at Nordstrom is going to convert way better, way better than this ad at Bloomingdale's. So the, the difference is going to be huge. Right, and we're just showing big retailers, but it doesn't matter. It could be a small service guy. Well, it, it doesn't matter because I, I, this was actually perfect. This is a big retailer with plenty of money that, that should have people setting this up. Now, they might not have you know, a, much of a, 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 an interest in, in Pandora jewelry, but that was, just, that was just an example that we set so that we could find um, a good ad campaign and a poor ad campaign. In addition... We just touched the surface of this. So what, what happens is once we, we, we got to this page, which happens to be good, Nordstrom, Pandora, we, we, there's also a conversion strategy that applies to here. Remember I said before, when people go to your website, they want to find three things. Can I trust you? Can I afford you? And are you going to solve my problem? Well, Nordstrom, number one, has a big brand name. They spend millions of dollars on advertising promoting their brand name, plus they have local outlets. So I know Nordstrom. So I, there's some level of trust right there. Can I afford you? Well, the prices are right here. They're listed here. Um, are you going to solve my problem? Well, if I see, if I see the, the piece of jewelry that I want, then obviously you're going to solve my problem. So let's, let's go back and find someone else. Um, here, I'm going to pick one of, the, one of these. And I haven't done... Um, is this site... Going back to the three things that we have to, we have to satisfy. Uh, can I trust? Can I afford? Are you going to solve my problem? Pandora Charms Advisors. Um, well, I don't know them. There's a little bit less trust here because I don't know who Pandora Charms Advisors are. Uh, so if I click on this, it's giving me the prices. So I, I think this charm was added to you or it doesn't give me prices. So this is, you know, this one is not going to convert anywhere near as close as, as the, the other page I showed you before. But it, it's it's much better than than blooming nails. So what we want to do is we want to take the the browser. We want to take the 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 web searcher, our our potential client, to our website, seamlessly as possible, to the exact page that they they're looking for, and give them the the, the trust factors. Give them show them that we can provide that for their needs. And show them that we can help them trans go make a transaction online as seamless and smoothly as possible. And that's the key. Now, this is e-commerce, but let's look at how this would work for a service business. Now, I really specialize in service industries. Before we showed you uh, one contract, let's show you another one. This one happens to be. We'll pick the first. We'll pick the first ad here. But this happens to be a pest extermination company. And what happens here is that. If we go to the uh, the ads, and we'll, and this is a really quick and dirty site that I, I've made for for a client. What happens is that every industry, that every actually every service and and, and product that they provide is itemized on on the uh, on one of the landing pages. So if this guy does pest control and he, does, he takes care of animals, it's there. If he does uh, ants or bed bug control or mice. It's all there. So the point is that when we go and we take a look at the site, it, it's designed for um, showing that these are our services. Yeah, because I'm asking in the back of my head, well, is this guy going to solve my problems? Well, it says that we take care of uh, bed bugs, uh, rodents. It says, our service area, can you help me? Well, this is our service area. And then reviews. Reviews are very important because they tell people that that hey you you do this and these are what my clients are saying so what's important for a landing page strategy is that when I get to the page that that I'm looking for that if I want I'm looking for a bed bug guy and then I see bed bugs on, on that page and then I see the the, the assurance factors like um, BBB or if I see yeah accredited business and I see the service area and I see reviews and I see what what you know what's important to me and I see some look free on-site estimate. If I see some some conversion built into the website, then I'm more likely to give you a call. 
I'm more likely to convert as opposed to me landing on a page that has nothing to do with I'm search what I'm searching for. Okay, so Mike, let's go into a real search here. Let's let's type in something in Google and let's let's, let's take a look couple of landing pages that would be maybe more service related like you just did. And let's let's talk about the conversion and whether or not someone would stick and where the calls to action are. Because obviously calls to action in an ad are a lot different when to calls to action in a web page. Because it, just because you have good ads and you do write great copy doesn't mean that your site converts to a phone call or an email or an e-commerce site or, or something by unless we've got the consumer through the process. That's, that's, a, that's a, a good point. What happens before is, remember I said that when you actually build an ad, that you can put multiple ads up and find out which one converts, and Google will split test the ads for you, and they'll give you click-through rates or, or conversion rates right then and there, and you can just stop the ads that don't work and then modify them. Well, you can do the same thing with landing pages. What happens is some landing pages will convert well, and some won't. How do you know? You don't until you test them. But one of the things that you have to do before you can get to the point where you test them is make sure that you're on the right track. So if I'm typing in, I'm looking for a service and the bed bug exterminator. So I click on the first ad. And we're going to critique this right now because I never went there. Okay, this deals specifically with bed bugs. I'm like, okay, that, that's, that's fine. So um, let's, uh, let's pick another one. Um, here, bed bug treatments. Let's see if this. All right, this. The, all these guys are actually doing it right. But if I clicked on one of these ads and it didn't relate to bed bugs, if it related to something else, then um, uh, they're all. They all. All these guys seem to have learned that green earth bed bug dog. All right, I, we found one that doesn't. Oh no, he he does as well. He talks about his dogs, his his treatment machines. What I was really looking for, I was looking for someone that. Um, let's. Why don't you try a different industry? Because I think these guys have gotten it down. What, let's go back to uh, something simple like your pavement solution. So let's type in pavement and let's see. Maybe go into a very specific thing within pavement. Um, Actually, let's let's see. Um, okay, so I typed in masonry contractor, so I'm expecting to see bricks, someone that does bricks and 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 stones. So let's just take a look at over here. All right, this is actually, I, this is actually fine. So, uh, sidewalk replacement. Here, I think we found one that that's no good. Great. This is a home improvement contractor. What we did is we typed in uh, masonry contractors, right? So the ad for loss and home improvement goes to this site over here, and this is just a general site for um, home right. improvement. Now he might be doing masonry. I don't know. It's not going to convert well. I'm telling you right now that if I go to this site, I'm like, okay, I see a house. Um, I don't really see any brickwork. So this is not going to convert well. So the key to, is, number one, what you want to do first is have a landing page that relates back to your keyword. And then two, once you have that, we looked on this before, is you're going to have a couple of different versions of the same landing page so that you can test this yourself and see which converts the best. So here, this, here, this is one, one landing page. What you might want to do different is maybe on a page like this, he's got a coupon, but you might want to put reviews on it. And maybe you put the phone number a little bigger and get rid of this one over here. And maybe put a video on it that shows exactly what your business and how you do it. So you take a page like this, and then you, you split test it with a page with a video and some reviews on it, and then you see which converts better out of those two. Right, so this isn't necessarily having to do with pay-per-click and its derivatives of um, writing great ads and choosing keywords and setting up your AdWords structure properly. This is website-related uh, material. So you have to, you know, potentially you have to think about when either a service provider or a, a product or 
even with e-commerce. Well, e-commerce is a little bit different because you can point them to the right page. But you need to think about where people end up and testing that, meaning that you have a couple of different versions of your landing page. Now, your landing page not necessarily being the front page of your website, but an interior page where it relates to your product, service, or whatever. Correct, and it has all the uh, the factors that we were talking about before. I keep stressing this, and I can't stress it enough. People care about three things. They don't care about you or anything else. It's not personal, but they're just online, and it's really easy to click on a site and then click another site. Right, so I think a lot of the ego piece where people have built a website and necessarily you know, don't have the um, ability to sort of separate themselves from their customer and how they look for things is one of the critical components we run into every single day with um, our clients is that we say you have to test. If you're not testing, especially landing page, then you're just wasting money. Correct. Uh, correct. And there, there's some going to be some methods of actually testing landing pages, uh, but for for this section, what we what we do is, is is really this: just make sure that your landing page relates back to your service, like we showed before. And let's go back. So landing page goes back to your service. So if I'm typing in, I'm looking for masonry contractor. So I see masonry. This is this is exactly what I do. Um, and then you're gonna have a couple of different versions of this. You might have an offer on one page or a video on another page. And you 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 basically uh, set them both up, and you find out which calls gener are generated from from which um, which page, and you're going to find one sometimes generates significantly more phone calls than another. Right, and you also think about this from an e-commerce perspective. Don't point people to your homepage just because they type in some product that you have that's within your e-commerce site, as we saw from the very beginning you got to get them right to the specific spot where they should be or you're going to lose them uh, because they're not going to spend the time to go or they probably won't spend the time to go. Um, well, this was the example with Nordstrom yeah. and Bluing Nails before. Right, right. Nordstrom took me exactly to the e-commerce section on their website and then uh, Blooming Nails took me to a coupon uh, right. that had nothing to do with Pandora jewelry. So right. that's right. It's, this is really the same thing that we talked about before. We're looking to place ads that are relevant to the consumer at the right time. Right. Now, this totally relates back to what we always um, talk to our clients about, which is the quality score of the ad. Because what happens is that if Google says, hmm, people are clicking back button as soon as they get to this ad, it must be, I mean, uh, on this landing page, it must be either a bad ad, bad landing page, or a bad company. So um, why don't we go into quality score real quickly since we're on the discussion of um, conversion? Because Google's measuring your conversion to rank your ad and how they rank it from 1 to 10 on the page when someone searches for your keyword. Sure. Uh, we can talk about quality score, but I'd like to just point out that the quality score, the most important component of quality score is uh, something called click-through rate. So if we go and we pick um, anybody that was, was currently up and um, we just click on their keywords, and these are some of the quality scores for this particular one, um, they happen to be 10 out of 10. Um, we, the quality scores are ranked based on a, based on a, a system 1 through 10, 10 being the best that you could possibly get. Let's, let's, these are too good right now. I need to find someone uh, need to find something that's worse than that for the de demonstration purposes. So let's pick on this and just take a look. All right, this is much better. This is five out of 10. Um, Okay, so Google is going to rank keywords um, based on a, a couple of different things, and, and these and it's actually telling you right here in this little bubble what it what what they're looking for. So the most important thing is the expected click through rate. What do I mean by that? Well, if Google's running an ad for you and they're they're taking your ad and placing it on top of their search results, they're doing it for one simple reason. They want to make money. It's a public company. They need to generate revenue. And if they feel that your ad, for some reason, isn't getting clicks, well, then they can't charge you because that's how their model works. So they're going to give you a, a lower score, and your score is ultimately going to affect how much you pay for each every click. Uh, that, so that's the most important thing. If, you're, if your ad is not relevant to the search, it's not going to get clicked on. If it doesn't get clicked on, Google doesn't make money. Very simple. So the most important thing is anticipated click-through rate. And then if it's re relevant, 
if the ad has relevance to the search. Um, in this particular case, the keyword happens to be bed bug removal. Well, the guy does that, but Google might be thinking, you know, someone typing in bed bug removal wants to do it themselves, so maybe the ad is not relevant according to their, their ad model. And so I'm not ranking as high as, as I was in some other things where I showed you a quality score of 10 out of 10. This is only 5 out of 10. But I know through testing that this ad does generate results and does generate phone calls. And then the third component of quality score is landing page experience. Google wants to make sure that the landing page, number one, relates to the keyword, relates to the ad, relates to the search, and l loads quickly. Um, Right, but there also there's some measurement in there on how if the person goes to the landing page and just clicks back button right away, they're going to know well, that's not a good landing page. Well, they, they do have a lot of this is the, the, the Google's going to tell you exactly how they how they're going to have uh, what metrics they use. Um, um, one of this is they want a they want a landing page that relates to the keyword. That's that's really important. And this, it tells you here exactly how they, they derive at that or it gives you an indication at it. But I can tell you from my experience, the most important thing here to any of this stuff is really click-through rate. They want to make sure that you get click-through because if they don't get click-through, they don't generate for income. Right. So, right. so just having – and a lot of customers come to us and say, well, I want to be higher positioned in the, in the uh, search results from my ad. Uh, can I just bid higher? And yes, you can just bid higher, but what, what's going to happen is this. You're going to have a competitor of yours that's probably going to bid 25% or 30% or 40% or maybe even 15% of your bid, and they're going to be on top of you. It doesn't matter if you're only getting a couple clicks a day, but if you're getting a dozen or 2,000 or 3,000 or 100, that competitor is going to knock your doors off um, just by having a better campaign than you are. They're going to pay significantly less money. Google manages this process through quality score. So if I have a quality score of 5 and you have a quality score of 10, you're going to pay a lot less money for having a campaign set up with a quality score of 10 as opposed to a 5. Right. So this is all adding up. I mean, we went from the very beginning here of you know, the AdWords structure, how to create the keywords, how to write a great ad. Now we're on the landing page strategy, so all this is compiling on itself um, to why it's important to look at every one of these functions when you're building this campaign, because they all interrelate. It's almost as if they all have a percentage in how Google displays your ad and how well it gets clicked through. If you're doing all the right things, if you're testing and doing the stuff in the background, you're going to continually improve your quality score, which lowers your cost and improves your, your overall campaign uh, metrics. Correct. These days it's very important to watch your campaign and make sure that you're ahead of the curve in terms of what your competition is doing because you're judged based on your competition. If your competition has better campaign set up than you, better landing pages than you, better keyword selection than you, then Google's going to base quality score on a, on a curve. So if you're below the curve, hey, you, you're going to get docked for it and you're paying more than your competition for the same keywords. Yeah, and that's the critical component is um, you know, you're, you're trying to do this yourself and you're not watching this stuff and your quality scores start to drop or they haven't ever come up. It's just like putting them, uh, giving Google a lot, just money for nothing. Uh, they're just going to continue to pound you down uh, as your competitors now are improving and testing and an A-B split testing. You know, they're, they're actually able to, you know, rise above you at lower costs. So this is critical. Right.